Good afternoon, Internet. I'm your host, Hazel Place 89. Welcome back to City Skylines 2. We're in the city of Blackshire, and we're just admiring right now our beautiful train station we put in in the last episode. And you can see way over here behind it, there's our train depot. So I want to, since we're over in this area already, ooh, hold on. Here we go. I'm getting all turned around. Since we're over here in this area, I want to kind of bring in some density around here. As you can see, we have gridded out this area. I want to put things around our train station. I just think that would make sense. So let's 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 do that. So I hope everyone's having a great day today. I'm having a good day. I just did some chores around the house this morning. I went out and ordered some well, not ordered. I bought some groceries because I was hungry. And so now here we are. What do we want to do? I like the idea of kind of breaking the grid just a little bit. We could do something like this. We could do something like this. There there are lots of things that we could do. We could we could do many many things here in this area. I'm just going to take inventory of what we're where we're at. I think it would make more sense to have stuff up here, actually. We we're all good with that. Let's check. I think maybe. Yeah, we're, we're beginning to get some college and university um, things to do, but that's OK. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to kind of zone in. Let's let's straight and straw road here. But we want to make it. 90 degrees so here's what I, this is what I like to do and you may have noticed this but I'm gonna explain it I like coming beyond the road so instead of starting directly on the road to make the 90 it kind of wiggles around what I like doing is going beyond it and sticking it through all the way like that a similar situation with this now we we see we have a road here but I, I like to click beyond the road even still and drawing all the way through and that keeps our zoning grid nice and tight through there which is totally cool by me. Actually, so let's let's count this off. We have what 64 meters and 132. So let's do about 56 meters. And we're gonna grab our simple curve tool and just make a nice curve into the train area. Like so. And what I want to do too, and we're gonna Scooch that out just a bit if I can get the right right tool for it. Like so. And then we're going to get a small roundabout. A little more, actually. A little more. Like so. Come on now. You silly goose. There we go. That should do the trick. Yeah, we'll get a small roundabout to cap off that area there. And that'll be fine. We could make like a... um pathway through there. I mean, I think that'll be a good time. So let's, let's get to it. We're going to draw in some commercial right here, but we're not going to do all commercial. So I'm playing a city in my free time called Bartolome. And I'm employing this concept that I saw. I think it was Bradder's play, Bradder, Brad play cities, um, employ where he would leave gaps, right? Like so. And then he would put row homes in the gaps as kind of like a mixed use type situation. And I like that idea. And so I'm gonna try to do that here. I don't like it. What we need to do is I was thinking about this last time we, or between now and whenever we played last time was getting a train line. So we're going to want to do that. We're going to do a route. We're going to just bring around all the way out from here. And then we're going to bring around all the way back. Through here. And hopefully that will get us, get us to going. And we're going to turn on our those things yeah 
So hopefully that'll get us, get people moving in, and it'll be a good time. And so, there we are. We're doing it. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I think I clicked the wrong... I didn't, okay. There's a mixed use, which is totally, totally cool, actually. Totally, totally cool. And so what I like to do, and you all know this, is what I like to do on Main Street is... Not enough customers. Okay, I understand. We'll fix that. What I like to do is I like upgrading some commercial into... Um, mixed use. As you all know. I like the way that it looks on the skyline. Very attractive. I appreciate it. Eventually, we're going to come through Hawthorne Springs at some point and um, redo this whole area. I'm not completely satisfied with the way it works. Ugh, with the way it works. Pardon if I could speak. But, you know, we'll get there when we get there. Let's add in some offices back down here. I think that kind of makes sense for this area. Put a little corner office here. And I think that will do it. All right. I'm very pleased, actually, with the way that this kind of whole situation looks. It doesn't look too terrible. The rail, <laughs> the railroad isn't the most uh, aesthetically pleasing. This could probably straighten out. But you know what? It's my first try. <laughs> so I'm not too, too terribly worked up about it. Let's come in here and just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But we're not going to go too ham with our commercial right now. All right. Let's check on all of our areas. Oh, man. I forgot how much I love this little little space. It's so nice. Real good. What we could do? We could put in a little plaza back here. Well, let's do that. Let's check our parks and such. We want a large park. I think we do want a large park. A large plaza. I think... I think that works. Because this will be kind of more downtown-ish. Honestly. Where everything starts to break up. And I think it'll look pretty... I think it'll look nice. So let's draw in some medium density housing. Let's put a little apartment block there. Grab some commercial and place it right here. Like so. And then I think what I'm going to do, and this might annoy a few people, but I, I think it would make sense. We're going to draw in... Let's draw in this, like so. Delete that. And we can. There we go. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some parking lots back here. We want a big parking lot. Oh, we have, probably have to just use... Use a couple small parking lots. One right here. And one right here. Yeah. I'm going to delete that so we can... Have it just the length we need, which will be fine. Yeah. So now what we'll do, let's just kind of draw in some little lengthy commercial blocks. Ooh, not right there. I don't actually want something like that. So we'll do that. We can line that with bushes or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there. Also, I kind of want to begin considering the idea that maybe, just perhaps, potentially, you get some coal mines. Or coal mining, ore mining. And this area would be ideal for that. So, we can just place a, like a small mine down here. And somewhere else as it would be needed. So, yeah. Well, as we're as we're still over here, I can I kind of want to continue 
doing a little something something like so now like that and I think having the mixed zoning brings a lot of character into the area to be honest um, and I think that I think that'll be fine I think that will be okay so something like something like this I like like the frontage of, on the streets between the row homes and how delightful everything kind of meshes together I'm, I'm, I am a fan of it. Yeah, I want to work on getting some more of our specialty buildings in as well. Gonna make sure all of our info users are fine. Yeah, so the way that I play City Skylines, and, and you may have already picked up on this, but I just kind of stream of consciousness kind of situation. I play it as I, as I, uh, <laughs> as I go along. I, I don't. I don't plan it so much. I probably should, honestly. I feel like that's one thing that I, um, my style of play is to just kind of wing it, to be honest. And I know that might not be everybody's cup of tea, um, especially when you have so many fantastic creators who, who have, you know, tell stories with their cities and who, um, have more, much more real world knowledge with the way things work in real life than I do. And honestly, that's 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 totally fine. I I'm not here to, to bash anyone. But my my style of play is I just kind of wing it and it's worked out so far. And I appreciate everyone, all the love, all the support on the videos that I've been receiving. Um it means a lot. We've hit 52 subscribers, which doesn't sound like a lot, but they say that the first 50 on YouTube is very hard to attain and so to all of my subscribers I want to say thank you so much it means a whole lot um, that you all care enough to to stay and to watch the watch my videos to subscribe to what I've got going on it means a ton it's humbling it really is I told um, I'm on a discord server with several other people and I kind of celebrated with them. I was like, it's, it does, it's, it's kind of sounds silly, but it is humbling to know that people care that much. That's a crime scene. Oh, sad day. Well, we have coverage. So I think that's just a matter of people being silly, silly, silly people. What we could do, let's draw in. So delete that. I like it. Here for it. All right. Honestly, though, I do think the city is coming along quite nicely. What we could probably do, let's come through here and we're going to just kind of suburbanize this area. Put a little something, something right there. Do that. I love adding the. Well, the, the the bulbs at the end of the street. So it's so much easier to do than it was in Cities One. You just little, it's just a little click, and you got them. Also, feel free to uh, get on over to Twitch once the video's over, and give me a follow follow Rooney over there too, because we live stream on Twitch. I'll probably live stream today as well. Maybe not City Skylines today. I, I might stream something else. But it's all good. I do stream. I, I, I definitely do stream City Skylines over there. Um, so there's that. I think what we can do is we can add a little bit of commercial over this way. Yeah. yeah. A little. I'm really. I'm very much reminded of where. I used to work. I used to work in a hospital, and this kind of resembles, like vaguely, if you squint your eyes and tilt your head, kind of resembles uh, the layout. The parking garage, super close next door. Also, I'm missing some bushes. Oh well, we'll have to fix that at some point. Maybe not right now, but we'll fix it at some point. All right. So here's what I like the idea of. I'm gonna come in here, and I'm going to maybe. Can we get a surface? Do we have 
services, networks, blah, blah, blah. favorites, favorites, bizarre. I'm going to grab this dot and we're going to bring it all the way. So, we bring this all the way out. Like so. And we're just going to bring this all the way out. Like so. We can cover all that area with concrete. And I think that looks, looks kind of nice. Ooh, I can't bulldoze the uh, bushes there, but that's okay. I don't mind it. This will be a potential through area. So what with push comes to shove, what we can do is some fun. So I haven't really seen many people do this, but what you might not know, or you might know, I'm not sure. If you take a road and you elevate it, you can go across the top of a road like that. So in theory, we could take a train, a railroad track, and do something really similar, and it'll look really cool. And I want to do it. All right, so we're gonna detail this area. I've I've decided that's what we're gonna do just now in the moment. So <laughs> let's grab some. What do our cultivated green bushes look like? Maybe do we have any larger? Perfect. Wild bushes, cultivated flower bush. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna grab a line tool. We're gonna drop our spacing down to a meter, perhaps. Maybe we can do, we probably have to put anarchy on. Yeah, that's totally cool. Totally fine by me. I actually think I might want to bring them out just a touch. Yeah. I think that feels a little better. I think having a little bit of space new all right that'll work i'm fine with that so having a little bit of space in the in with the bush about a two meter gap i think works so what we'll do is we'll kind of just bring it all up here and we're going to let's maybe till about we hit this curve here like so and we'll grab that and about right here and i think that works And we can also detail our roundabout. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take my time with it cause I want the bushes to kind of follow the curve. So I'm not gonna use any more than around three bushes. We can kind of use straight lines to make our curve. Like so, and then we will just grab the one. So we'll grab the single and put that right there. All right. Beautiful. So I'm going to, and this is very intentional, a very intentional detailing, which I am here for. We can grab a little flower. We're going to square it off and put it right here. Square it off. Come on. Come on. Square it off, put it right there. There we go. All right. And so now let's grab some linden and place it in here to kind of decorate our entry to our railroad track. And as you can see, it's not perfectly centered, but you know what? If we don't look at it directly on, we should be fine. Same thing with this. We're going to grab, uh, I think it's this bush. Yeah. We're going to grab our squared off bush. Place it right. Oh. And right here. And grab our linden. We're going to place it in the middle of the flowers. We're going to just pretend. Ooh, that's not right at all. So, deletion. Okay. One more time. One more time. There we go. Perfect. Sort of. I'm going to redo this one as well. What do they say? You know what they say? Perfect is the enemy of good. But you know what? I want it perfect. 
Also, let's do this. This is a fun little trick. You can turn anarchy on and decorate roundabouts. And you probably already know that. But it's one of my new favorite things to do in this game. So we're going to click that right there. Have a nice tree roundabout. So people won't drive directly through it. And I am here for it. So with that, um, very sparsely detailed. But I think what we can do, let's grab some spruce. A line tool. Could we perhaps get about 15 meters? Let's start it right here. Yeah, I like it. We're going to come all the way through. Like so. And then for this last one right here, we're just going to pop on one. Something like that. I like the idea of... I'm trying to separate the train area from it being just loud and obnoxious. So that's what we've got. So now that we've got that, we're going to grab our brush. We're going to grab our deciduous trees. Let's lower the brush size down. Maybe it's about 80. Maybe not. Maybe 100. Yeah. 160%. We're going to make a nice buffer between our commercial area and our... I forgot that I have anarchy on, so I'm gonna have to delete some of these trees around here. Yeah. Because I don't want trees poking through buildings. That would be awkward. How did this tree get here? I don't know, Joffrey. I don't know who Joffrey is. We can make lore about Joffrey. Joffrey. He's a good guy. Good guy. Good guy, Joffrey. And now we're going to grab some coniferous trees, pines, spruce, and whatnot. And sprinkle those in as well. Something like that. So you can't really tell exactly what's going on with the tree line. But once we come this way, you definitely can. Which is fine by me. And I think what we'll do in these blank, these big blank areas, I'm not too big a fan of those. So what we will do is just grab some... Single trees. I need to get our brush size. Oh, well, if I could click the correct tool. <laughs> Silly me. Put some alders in. Maybe we can get some nice oaks. The oak trees. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, though. I love the tree models in this game. Very nice. Very nice. And I think we'll just kind of line that just a little bit. Like so. Good stuff. Pardon me just for a moment while I take a sip of water. Alright. And then it's kind of just got some trees around this area as well. Not as, not as lush as I'd like. When we come down here, I don't actually know if this is getting used. Let's jump our... Let's do about four. We'll keep 23k a month. This is fine. Honestly, this is okay. I'm here for it. So yeah, we have a nice little, little area going on. Ooh, also, while I'm over here, my sister made a fantastic uh, suggestion. I'm going to put a gazebo on this curve right here. I think that would just look really nice. And she made that um, suggestion. So thank you, sister. It's very nice of you to say that. My game's jumpy. There we go. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> All right. So let's come here. Let's search for gazebo. Um, I think maybe, Ooh. let's do, let's do this one. Put the, the entry kind of towards it like so. And so here's what we can do with this. I'm going to fake a path. Could we, 
Can we get a service? Let's do... Seeing this is kind of a thing that happens. We're going to do... We're going to grab a forestry service. And just kind of do that to it. So you see how that kind of changes the surface and it makes a little path. We're going to just kind of draw all the way around it. And again, big shout out to Bradders, Brad Play Cities for this trick that he does in his his series that he's doing. Very very fun. And so now it looks like there's a thing that we could that's kind of it Ooh, hi there. And now I'm going to just kind of go all the way around like so with these bushes like that and I'm going to grab some smaller bushes well those are the larger bushes but that's okay we're going to decorate our gazebo like so like that and then I think I want to find some smaller much smaller Bushes. Where are the small bushes? There are no small bushes. Sad day. Because I want to make. Okay, we'll just have to do this. Alright. Cultivated green bush of one. We'll just have to do like that. And honestly, that's that's kind of nice. I'm here for it, to be honest. No. So. We got that. We have a gazebo in. We're going to name this gazebo. Kayla's. Gazebo. Boop. Perfect. Thank you, sister. I appreciate it. <laughs> that was a great suggestion. <laughs> so hopefully if she watches this episode, she will see that and then text me and be like, oh, thanks. So here's the situation. I love this park area. I love what we've got going on, but as you can see, it's kind of barren. And we don't want that, to be honest. What we want to do is we would like some um, trees back here. But before we do that, I'm going to just... Can I make... I can't make a path because it would delete it right here. But empty homes. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete a few of these though. So what we'll do, let's come down here. Again, I, I am fully aware that I am all over the place. I'm going to come there and we're going to take all of this off. We're going to draw like that. I'm just going to connect like so. So now we have a path. We're going to draw another path. Like that. I'm just gonna come back in. That'll be fine. They'll 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 survive. Let's make sure that we don't have any silly trees in the in the pathway. Ooh, we could also use move it. So I'm gonna draw bring move it. I'm gonna get out of my bulldozer. I'm gonna get uh, move it. We're gonna grab and move it and we're gonna just kind of like that all right now it connects directly up and it doesn't make a crosswalk so that's delightful oh no abandonment what are you what are why are you abandoning let's get out of movement unhappy oh well here's what we'll do get some people in here who appreciate it <laughs> All right, they'll they'll come back in. That's fine. So yeah, I know it's been a scattery episode, but I feel like we'll start making stuff dense again. But yeah, what we want to do? Let's grab our tree brush once again. Turn anarchy off, and we're going to deciduous, deciduous all the things. Like so, we're gonna coniferous 
the rest of the things. Like so. Because like, well, like what we've established, it's one thing to look at it from above, but once we come down here, and let's say we're, we're taking a nice stroll down the street, we come to this green line and we turn this way. It doesn't look so plain and bare. I like it. I'm here for it. So yeah. Oh, we're stuck. There we go. Beautiful. With all that, I think we're going to call the episode here. We're running about 30 minutes. And again, my, my approach to cities is a little bit all over the place. But thank you guys so much for, for watching. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your subscribes. It all means a ton. Your viewership is appreciated more than you know. But with that being said, this has been an episode of City Skylines 2 in the city of Blackshire. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.